Uh, how I got started, my, uh, my dad had an old beat-up classical guitar, and I started, I just picked it up one day and started messing around with it, and I had a little background, we were talking, I was probably seven years old, and uh, we had a little piano that I had played at, so I kind of got music in general. And then my dad gave me a, a guitar for my eighth birthday, which is really when I consider I started. And I just played in the basement. I didn't tell anyone about it. I'm from a totally sports family, so you know, football coaches, wrestling coaches, and, and that was our thing. So I had this little music habit on the side, so I kept it to myself, did my own thing. And, uh, but it was my escape. It was, it was my thing. It was, you know, I was the only one in the family that did anything like that. So I just kept at it. And then uh, I started playing out. My dad actually got me to play in a uh, folk concert when I was in eighth grade, but up at the high school, which was a big deal for me. And I came away from that performance uh, saying, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to be in music. I was in all kinds of other things, but I just knew that that was it. So I started playing, I started learning songs. This was like the, uh, the acoustic 70s, you know, Jim Croce and John Denver and the Eagles and uh, uh, sort of James Taylor, later on Leonard Skinner. And uh, I, just, I just dug all that stuff and I just got into it. And uh, once I got into college, I started playing bars. And then that was it. I was, I was making a living at it playing clubs. So, you know, I was, I was kind of home. Well, right now, my music, uh, I kind of focused on what worked because I was a songwriter in Nashville uh, for Sony and I, I was doing a lot of different things. And I looked at what really worked in my life. And number one, live performance is what works for me. I love it. I love connecting with an audience and, and being in that situation. Uh, within that context, the comedy that I do with the guitar and with songs uh, seems to be, the, uh, seems to really click, seems to really connect. And then the picking, the, guitar, the different instrumental pieces. Uh, a distant third would be my songs that are not funny, and that's fine. I, I still play a few of those, but that's really not my, uh, my focus anymore. So now I want to take guitar and comedy as far as I can. I'm doing instrumental comedy. I was wondering, you know, artistically, is it possible for the notes of music to be funny? Just the notes, not, not mine or whatever, but can you be funny? And the answer is yes. My guitar heroes, my favorite guitar player of all time is Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan. And uh, not that you would know that by listening to me play, but that, that's who I, uh, I really just think, every time I hear anything that he played, I'm just like, I get it, but I would have never come up with it or played it the same way or whatever. It always takes me on a, on a different uh, journey, you know. Um, but I grew up with, um, my first favorite singer, guitarist or anything was Johnny Cash, which is cool because he was a rebel. He was, he was different, and that sort of set the stage for the, some of the stuff that I would do. I guess nowadays, and even growing up, you know, we've got the heroes, but the people that I learned the most from were my friends, the guys I grew up with playing. Why McPherson? Because it's the best acoustic I've ever played. I mean, <laughs> I, I wish it was easier to say than that. It's the best acoustic on every level. It sounds best, plays the best, uh, it looks the best. And uh, as soon as I picked one up, uh, I knew that uh, the other guitars that I played weren't just weren't up to the same uh, standard. They didn't sound as good. They didn't. And, and we're talking some good guitars. I had great guitars, but uh, this one just kind of uh, it, it did it for me. And I also like the fact that there's a lot of selection. They get into the tone woods, and so you can hear a difference in something that's an Alcoa guitar or something that's using redwood as a top. Thank mm -hmm. you.